Welcome to Huawei eLearning Service. My name is Klaus Schweiger and today I will give you an overview about SDN RESTful protocol. After completion of this course, you will be able to describe the SDN RESTful protocol. Let's start with the general posi positioning of RESTful protocol. As you can see in this picture, RESTful protocol is located at the northbound interface in between the SDN controller and the application layer. It might be an open API or a private interface. For distributed architecture models like the World Wide Web, we have three different approaches. DO, which is distributed architecture, RPC, which is remote procedure call, and we do have REST, which is representational state transfer architecture. The REST architecture is currently the most popular internet software architecture. The advantages of this software architecture style is that it can provide a clear structure, it is conformed to open standards, it is easy to understand and it also allows future expansion. If now a software architecture or more general a system is compliant with the mentioned REST architecture, then we call this a RESTful software architecture. Three important pieces of this architecture are the resources, the representation of these resources and the state transfer. In the following, we will have a further look into these three important building blocks of REST architecture. Firstly, the RESTful resource layer. If we talk about the presentation layer in the context of representational state transfer or REST, then this means the resource presentation layer. In this context, the resource represents a network entity, which can be a text, a picture, a song, or any kind of service. You can now point to one of these resources via URI, which is a uniform resource identifier. To get access to a resource, you only need a URI. This is sufficient because each resource uses a specific and unique URI. So the entire Internet can be seen as a huge amount of resources which can be addressed via URI. Now let's talk about the presentation layer of a resource. As we have seen, a resource is some kind of information entity in the web. But such a resource can be expressed in many different forms. The concrete forms of such a resource we call a representation of this resource. A text, for example, may have TXT format, may have HTML format, or XML format, or the Java-based JSON format, or even may have a binary format or, for instance, an image, which may have a JPEG format or a PNG format. The URI represents only the entity of a resource, but not the form of this resource. Technically speaking, we can also omit the suffix HTML in some URLs, because the suffix represents the format belonging to the presentation scale while URI only represents the position of a resource. Its concrete expression form should be in the HTTP request header information field with the accept field and the content type field specified. These two fields, the accept and the content type field, are the description of the presentation layer. Now let's have a look at the state transfer. Let's think about visiting a website. Visiting a website represents an interactive process between a client who is requesting a service and a server who can provide this service. 
Now it must be also possible for this process to implement changes in data and state. Let's think about a news channel in the Internet, which of course shall provide up-to-date news information. The protocol used for Internet communication, HTTP, is a stateless protocol. This means that all states are kept on the server side. If the client now wants to interact with the server, it needs a mechanism to transfer this state information from the server. This transfer is part of the presentation layer. Therefore, we call this presentation layer state transfer. The mechanism used by the client for state transfer is the HTTP protocol. The verb used in HTTP specifies the basic method or mode of operation which the client would like to execute with the server. We are using four verbs to address these basic modes. Get, which is used to obtain an existing resource from the server. Post, which is used to build a new resource. Put, which is used to update an already existing resource. And delete, which is finally deleting a resource. So, with this module you have got an overview about the RESTful protocol architecture and about the three major building blocks, the RESTful resource layer, the RESTful presentation layer and the RESTful state transfer. Thank you for watching.